In typical Cuba fashion, I buy fragrances blindly in seasons that have nothing to do with the corresponding scent. Yep. But in this one, it was a good price. I couldn't miss up the opportunity and I'm pretty sure that this fragrance has been listed in the channel before, but possibly the only fragrance from this house. I just didn't have a full bottle and I felt like I needed it because from what I remember, Andy Towers, Lair du Desert Marocaine, say that five times fast, was a delicious scent and a sleeper scent as not many people are really tapping into the tower brand. <laughs> It had like a mild little surge of hype, but people kind of fell off to it because there's just so many other niche brands, but I'm gonna be retapping into this in 2024 since I already bought a bottle. Let's roll my music so we can tap into Andy Tower joint and see if this joint is as good as I think I remember it. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Andy Tower got a few fragrances, but this is one of the hypest ones, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go over the entire presentation and the note breakdown of this scent profile, but it's an ambery scent, which is definitely my cup of tea. They come in kind of these cool canisters, almost looks like a Ramoa briefcase. Has a little bit of the information in the back, and this one is Le Air de Desert Marocain number two. Open this puppy up. I think it's a slider, actually. I'm trying to pull this shit open. It's a slider. Boom, he signs on the thank you, enjoy Andy Tower. And here's what the bottles look like. Very nice, very unique, very different, simplistic, but beautiful. But let's get into the notes of this fragrance before I smell it, cause I'm already getting excited cause I, I truly feel that this is the one that I smelled before, but I could be confused, but it's an amber fragrance. So what can possibly go wrong? Nothing can go wrong. All right, so according to Fragrantica, the notes of the fragrance start off with coriander, cumin, petty grain, and lavender, followed by labdanum, birch, jasmine, geranium, and then we got amber, cedar, vetiver, patchouli, and oak moss. This definitely does not have any kind of fuckboy energy, but I'm really curious to re-smell this scent because it's just one of those things that you know this shit is gonna hit, but you never had it in the collection, so you're excited to even have it, although it's not the season to wear this shit, but we'll see if I still feel that type of way right now. Jesus Christ. I mean, instant? I mean, fucking instant? My God. My God. Holy shit, it's like shivering down my cervical spine into my coccyx. Such a beautiful, fresh, really underlying tiger bomb-ish, muscle relaxing, cream airiness, uplifting, beautiful, sexy amber that this fucking guy created. Holy shit, Andy. Hey, Andy. I gotta put this on skin. It's a disrespect to put this on a test strip. Disrespect. Atomizer's a little weak, but whatever, who cares? Like I like those little squirt, like orgasmic nut <laughs> atomizers. <laughs> So I could just spray less and just have one good, like, consistent. Oh my god. What the fuck is this, bro? Holy shit. Fam, what are we doing here? The cumin is punchy, a little bit pungent, but not full BO. You do smell the Cumin, if you smell cumin fragrances, you'll definitely pick that shit up, guaranteed. Fresh, ambery, herbal, spicy, green, fucking orgasmically beautiful. Ah. Unique. Because one of the things that can happen with amber fragrances is it may get redundant. There's a lot of amber fragrances that do tend to intertwine, but I'm gonna take back an original statement that I made. I said like, I'm used to getting fragrances that aren't for this weather for the springtime and that are generally catered for cold weather and get them in the wrong seasons. I can absolutely pull this off in spring. Like I'm, I'm ass backwards completely wrong. The freshness in here, the airiness, the slight herbal, green, grassy, mentholic nature, this fucking scent can absolutely be pulled off in the springtime and thank God. It's mildly dry in that midsection. You do pick up the 
that ever notes the woods in here. That cedar, that cedar here feels real. Like, I feel like I'm gonna pick up the bottle, look at the shit and see little chunks of wood up in this piece. It's so beautifully executed, balanced artistically, like nothing supersedes the other. It's got the right amount of amber, giving you that sweetness that you're looking for in an amber scent, an underlying caramelized kind of sugary essence. Then you got green, you got florals, you got grassy, you got almost moist, dewish kind of wetness. There's a lung opening aromatherapeutic essence about this fragrance. Almost when you step into like a sauna and shit and they got like eucalyptus, like it kind of just opens up your chesticles. This is Andy Tower. You deserve a fucking award, a hand job, something. And I deserved it, you know? This shit is delicious. If this is truly the one that I smelled, fucking six years ago or something like that. Uh, I didn't do it justice. Cause in 2024, hmm, oh my God, it just gets fucking better, dog. Like, what are we doing here? I'm having like a full moment with this scent. This is gonna be the scent of the day, fuck around. Mm. This atomizer is just a little weak, fam. Like, it's just a squirt, it's like a pre-cum. I need a little bit more fucking zhush, a little bit more spritz. <laughs> Don't deprive me of this goodness, Andy. For fuck's sake. All right, guys, since you guys are way smarter than I am, and especially those frag heads, those fume heads that are in my comments, that are independent niche perfumer fans, let me know what is the absolute must have tower fragrance, cause I'm getting another one. Wow, scale of one to 10, a fucking thousand. Nah, it's really like, Man, this shit is like a high eight, bro. And I've toned down my rating scale. My rating scale used to be one minute pizza review aggressive. Now I've made it a little bit more a thing because then, you know, people complained about it. And I listened to your complaints. I don't. <laughs> it's getting better and better. I don't even know how to feel, what to say. It's, it's an incredible, unique, different amber fragrance, a completely refreshing take on amber. Andy Towers number two, let me try to pronounce this shit again so I can butcher it. Le Air du Desert Marocaine number two. Again, get it. It's gonna be expensive if you have the money, buy a sample. I just, don't blind buy. If you have it, fuck it, blind buy, who cares? <laughs> Not my money. Uh, Yeah, absolutely a ball spray. All day, every day, so happy I bought it. Yeah, I knew this was gonna hit. This atomizer blows nuts, though. Oh. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Again, let me know in the comments below, that's a bar, what Andy Tower fragrance I need to get next. I need to find a special place for this scent because it's completely knocked my socks off. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you know who it is, biggest in the game. I don't even want to throw this case away. It's so nice, but I am. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game, baby. Smooch. Don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk in my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>